Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and Prince Edward have been met by protesters on the second leg of their Caribbean tour. The couple were met with banners of protest on their visit to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. About 15 people stood outside Government House on the island with banners demanding end to colonialism and hashtag compensation now. The protests came after an open letter from the Antigua and Barbuda Reparation Support Commission which urged Edward and Sophie to avoid phony sanctimony over slavery. Other banners included Down with Neo-Colonialism and Britain Your Debt is Outstanding. The demonstration comes after the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were criticized for elements of their recent Caribbean tour, which were deemed to hark back to colonial days. Edward and Sophie had received their second red carpet and guard of honor welcome on Saturday after landing in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as scouts, girl guides and cadets waved the national flag. Meanwhile, a slavery reparations campaigner branded the Earl and Countess of Wessex's British oligarchs, saying he was disappointed their visit to Granada was cancelled. Arlie Gill, chairman of the Granada's National Reparations Committee, which is calling for a formal apology for slavery and wide-ranging reparations, said he and others requested an audience with the royal couple via the governor-general but was disappointed the Granada portion of their tour was axed. Campaigners were hoping to deliver a plan for reparations and to discuss the topic face-to-face, -to -face, although a meeting was never set up. Mr. Gill said, We, of the National Reparations Committee, on learning that we had these British oligarchs visit Granada, wrote to the Governor-General, the Queen's representative here in Granada to have an audience with the Earl and Countess of Wessex to discuss the topic of reparations. So in a way we are a bit disappointed that they are not coming so we're not able to have that conversation with them. Steel Drums playing One Love by Bob Marley was the backdrop to the couple's official welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But before their arrival, the couple had received a warning from another Caribbean country to avoid phony sanctimony over slavery. In an open letter to the pair, Antigua and Barbuda Reparation Support Commission said, We hear the phony sanctimony of those who came before you that these crimes are a stain on your history. For us, they are the source of genocide and of continuing deep international injury, injustice and racism. We hope you will respect us by not repeating the mantra. We are not simpletons. Despite the warning, the reception for the couple was friendly, and they were presented with a bouquet of flowers by primary school pupil Ashley Church. Before standing on a platform to observe a guard of honor, Edward was greeted by Governor General Dame Susan Dugan, followed by acting Prime Minister Montgomery Daniel. The couple carried out separate engagements for part of their one-day trip to the island.
Sophie, who wore a floral dress on Saturday, visited a community college, where she was welcomed by the La Gracia Dance Company. The dancers, all of a variety of ages, put on a short performance for the Countess to a song with lyrics such as Welcome to St. Vincent. She posed for pictures with the children before heading onto a number of stalls set up next to the college theater. The Countess then met representatives of two organizations, Persons with Disabilities, and the Society of and for the Blind. Edward visited the island's national stadium where he met athletes training for Birmingham's Commonwealth Games. He observed two sprint races held in honor of the Platinum Jubilee. The Earl also watched the end of a T-10 women's cricket match and met some of the country's netball and tennis teams. Later, after the couple had lunch with the Governor-General and the island's acting Prime Minister, they visited a botanical gardens. The pair were due to plant a tree to mark the Queen's 70 years as monarch, before hearing about the country's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Before leaving, Edward and Sophie will travel to the residence of the island's Prime Minister for a meeting with the acting PM and members of Cabinet.